What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hari ni kita nak tengok microphone. This is the beacon mic. Kalau korang tengok video Afiq yang sebelum-sebelum ni, ada satu lagi produk beacon yang Afiq dah review uh, which is the beacon mix create. So company Beacon ni merupakan company yang diterajui oleh dua orang bekas pekerja uh, TC Helicon yang work on the Go XLR seperti yang korang tahu seperti yang korang arif Go XLR ni merupakan satu device, satu mixer yang memang dah banyak sangat content creator kat Malaysia ni pakai and it is a very very good device yang Afiq sendiri pun uh, guna setiap hari bila diorang uh, leave their positions dekat Go XLR and then they started out Beacon diorang punya objektif utama ialah nak push lagi the design the capabilities untuk produk-produk yang boleh content creator seperti kita gunakan okay? jadi uh, ini adalah salah satu produk yang available upon launch uh, selain daripada microphone ni kita ada Beacon Mix Create kita ada Beacon Mix dan this is the Beacon Mic so yeah Okay guys, uh, first impression kotak dia a lot better daripada Beacon Mix Create yang memang ketara sangat dia punya kualiti kotak tu agak rendah yang ni memang nampak premium balik lah tak tahu lah kenapa ada beza dekat situ dari segi kualiti kotak tapi tak apa, kita beli barang bukan beli kotak dekat tepi ada tulis Beacon Mic lepas tu dekat belakang ni ada logo dia Dekat bahagian atas ni pun sama, ada beacon mic juga And on the sides, we have a few more of the beacon logo Time to pull the box And we can see the beacon mic logo and dia punya tulisan dekat kotak dalam Harap-harap beacon mic kita masih berada di posisi yang sama Ok, dekat bahagian atas kotak ni Kita ada Satu Card warna merah So inside the card is the Details of what's in the box Dan juga macam mana kita nak start pakai beacon mic tersebut Dan dekat dalam ni kita ada This is an extension of the 3.5mm cable Dan kabel ni berwarna putih So let's say kalau macam kita nak gunakan headphone jack di bahagian belakang tu Kita boleh extend dia panjang panjang Also included is the USB Type-C cable in white dan korang boleh nampak kabel USB Type-C ni memang panjang gila weh dia bagi memang weh melengkor-lengkor kat situ memang panjang gila and last but not least we have the USB Type-C to USB Type-A converter just in case PC kita tak ada USB Type-C sekarang kita nak keluarkan mikrofon di bahagian bawah And this is it. Rupa dia memang standard dynamic mic yang kita selalu nampak. Ada iras iras show SM7B juga lah. Terus terang memang nampak lebih kurang je. Tapi ni warna putih. Sebab Afiq beli warna putih. Terbuka dia punya cover ni dulu. And there you go, the beacon mic in white. So let's have a look around this microphone. Dekat belakang dia ada dua port iaitu 3.5mm port untuk headphones dan juga USB Type-C port untuk power dan juga data. Di bahagian depan tu kita nampak ada ring iaitu RGB light dia 
Oh sebelum tu macam biasa Harga dia Harga dia kalau korang check dekat website Iaitu $279 Tapi dia belum masuk shipping dan juga tax Dekat website tu sendiri memang diorang boleh ship directly ke Malaysia Jadi dia ada shipping cost dia And then dah sampai Malaysia nanti ada dia punya tax So nanti yang tu kira kemudian lah Okay pandai-pandai lah korang okay, Jom kita tengok mikrofon ni dengan lebih dekat lagi dia punya uh, putih ni It is actually matte white I don't know if you guys can see it clearly Daripada uh, video ni lah Tapi Dia memang clean lah Memang clean Lepas tu uh, Everything is in white Even the cables are in white So that is a really nice touch So depan ni dia punya kepala Then dekat tengah ni dia punya LED Dia ada lampu And then Um, this is the part yang kita lekatkan pada uh, kita punya uh, microphone stand dekat bahagian belakang ni kita ada dua input or output uh, iaitu USB Type-C dan juga 3.5mm headphone so this is the headphone and this is the USB Type-C untuk kita pasangkan pada kita punya komputer Let's have a close look dekat dia punya software Mula-mula kita kena download dulu Beacon app ni Supaya kita boleh install dekat dalam PC yang kita nak pakai mikrofon ni So pergi dekat website Lepas tu download Lepas tu install And kalau dia suruh kita restart, restart je Because uh, upon installing Beacon app They will also install a bunch of like virtual audio stuff And uh, benda tu kadang-kadang dia memerlukan kita untuk restart kita punya PC lah Okay, Beacon app dah install sekarang kita sambungkan kabel USB Type C ni. Dekat PC kita. So kalau PC korang ada USB Type C punya port, cocok kat situ. Kalau tak ada, uh, boleh gunakan converter yang korang dah include. So sini kat PC Afiq ada ok we go ini tengah loading ke apa yang ni dia ambil masa ah let's go uh nampak tu ah macam-macam ada Ok um, Basically Microphone yang korang dengar sekarang Is still from the Shure SM7B Tapi the The one that you see on screen Is actually In real time Bila Fik cakap dekat uh, Beacon microphone ni ok Alright guys I'm back Nampaknya saya dah berjaya untuk uh, Memasang Beacon mic ni pada Elgato Wave 3 punya stand and then saya letak dia tinggi sikit supaya level dia lebih kurang lah sebab sekarang ni uh, because we want to have a closer look dekat software Beacon and how it works with the Beacon mic as you can see here kita ada tiga bahagian pada software Beacon app ni kita ada bahagian profile and this is uh, Where you set all your profile Kita ada on device profile Maksudnya memory pada Microphone ni And then kita ada default profile And dekat bahagian kanan ni Kita ada setting untuk Hardware Yang kita teng kita dah pilih And dekat bahagian tegah ni uh, Ialah hardware tersebut So dekat sini uh, Sebab sekarang ni Saya just cocok satu device saja, Which is the beacon mic uh, Bila kita klik pada beacon mic ni dia akan keluar a drop down where there is a microphone chain kita ada lighting kita, kita ada mixer dan kita ada settings ok so kita tengok settings dulu so kita boleh ubah nama device ni kalau kita mahu and then ada serial number and then kita ada firmware version bla 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 and dekat sini kita ada enable beacon mixing suit kejap lagi Afiq tunjuk apa itu And untuk device power setting kita boleh set sama ada kita nak boot beacon bila kita start up and also kita boleh buat open beacon app to windows tray so dia terus masuk dekat uh, windows tray jadi dia tak pop out keluar dekat kita punya desktop 
Lepas tu untuk save confirmation window sama ada kita nak enable ataupun tidak Lepas tu beacon beta opt in so yang ni uh, tak penting Okay kalau uh, korang semua dah tengok video Afiq mengenai Beacon Mix Create Beacon Mixing Suite is a software yang similar macam Elgato Wavelength di mana dia membolehkan kita untuk set uh, input dan output pada PC kita right? So dia is a very very powerful software and it is included with the Beacon Mic You don't have to uh, have a Beacon, beacon mix ataupun bikin mix create macam yang akak ada kat belakang ni alright we don't need to have the hardware tapi software tu kita boleh pakai bila kita purchase bikin microphone ataupun bikin mic okay it's a very interesting addition to the bikin mic whereas uh, even though kita beli microphone kita boleh juga guna microphone tu untuk control and manage kita punya audio system wow itu Uh, itu memang it's a very good addition tau so uh, once you guys learn the whole ecosystem mengenai beacon and beacon mic beacon mix ni kan you guys know the value of having the beacon mixing suite integrated and enabled with the beacon microphone okay um, this is the mixing suite tapi Afiq tak nak enable sebab kita nak fokus kat microphone saja sekarang and dekat bahagian lighting ni kita ada beberapa lighting style yang kita boleh uh, tukar so, kita ada solid color macam sekarang kalau korang nampak dia solid saja. let's say kalau kita tukar kuning kita merah kita buat dia warna apa biru right ataupun we want to go with gradient and let's say kita ada primary and secondary and then we have the reactive meter di mana dia akan memberikan uh, reaksi apabila kita bercakap-cakap pada mikrofon ni contoh macam kuat kan so, kalau kita terbalik kan uh, so dia start daripada atas dan ke bawah uh, so so on and so forth lah then kita ada sparkle kita ada spectrum style and kita ada solid cycle right so untuk lighting style ni Afiq tak nak go too deep sebab apa benda tu ikut selera masing-masing so kalau korang nak set up macam mana nanti korang set up lah Afiq pun Uh, tak tahu lagi nak set up macam mana tapi sekarang ni Afiq nak tunjuk the mic chain right stay tuned so basically sekarang ni apa yang korang dengar this is the raw sound of the microphone out of the box so tak ada tukar setting tak ada letak gain apa lagi apa semua so this this might sound really really slow I guess tapi kalau tengokkan level tu tak adalah slow sangat but I think Uh, it doesn't sound nice yet So Daripada Beacon app ni sendiri First thing that you'll notice that kita ada atas ni macam kita punya uh, bandwidth uh, Kita punya suara and this is basically where the equalizer is And dekat bawah ni is a real time It's called a timeline of our voice Basically bila kita cakap je kan ha, Nampak tak dia dekat bahagian ni Dia akan naik turun naik turun bila kita diam dia turun bila kita cakap dia naik okay and dah ada guide dah siap-siap dekat bahagian hijau ni this is the speaking area generally you want to adjust your microphone gain to have kita punya speaking voice inside the speaking area so sekarang ni dekat 7 decibel and then bila kita naikkan slowly bit by bit and right now I'm at berapa uh, 12 13 and I think 13 ni macam just nice lah so bila Afiq cakap and bla 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 what's up guys welcome to the stream uh, Afiq rasa hari ni Afiq nak makan ayam goreng walaupun pada setiap hari Afiq memang makan ayam goreng jadi uh, tak salahnya kalau Afiq nak makan ayam goreng hari-hari kan so let's go lah makan ayam goreng so it has a nice uh, operation area whereby suara Afiq bila Afiq bercakap macam biasa at this distance dia duduk kat dalam speaking area so probably kalau macam excited si ah seronoknya ayam goreng Ha, lepas tu dia akan sampai dekat peak kan ha, So tak adalah kuat sangat Tapi when most of the thing yang kita nak cakap tu Dekat dalam speaking area That should be great already Alright bila kita dah siap Set up microphone gain kita We will go on to the noise suppression And then uh, kita akan turn on noise suppression And then kita akan biar jadi dekat adaptive Because from what I've been told right uh, Features dekat dalam beacon app With the 
beacon microphone ataupun beacon mic it's good enough to have your your uh, microphone gain set up exactly where you need it and everything else is going to be good already so kita ada noise suppression noise suppression ni bila kita set dekat adaptive right basically dia akan learn bunyi bilik kita bila kita diam nampak dia macam gerak uh, macam tu kan ok itu dia tahu ok itu bunyi bilik jadi bila bunyi bilik jangan masuk dekat microphone so bila kita cakap dia detect voice kita right and then adaptively dia akan uh, dia akan learn kita punya bunyi bilik kalau kita bertambah ke kita tambah kipas lagi ke ataupun ada bunyi construction ke whatever lah kan so dia akan naik 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 lah bahagian bawah ni this is the basically the floor noise yang kita tak nak and everything else ialah yang kita nak alright kita boleh buat juga snapshot tapi Afiq tak nak usia Afiq tak nak kacau apa-apa and bila dia sampai je dekat bawah tu dia akan tutup mikrofon tapi bila kita cakap je dia akan naik balik and then the next one we have the expander expander ni basically kita adjust dekat this area kita boleh dengar macam mana suara kita tu dia expand bila dia sampai dekat threshold tu what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it here sebab I don't think we need to do anything much lepas tu kita ada compressor ok untuk compressor ni uh, it's very simple untuk bahagian yang kuat dia akan turunkan uh, dia akan compress and untuk uh, lepas tu bila kita ada makeup gain right so bahagian bila kita cakap macam kita cakap slow macam tu dia akan kuatkan so um, what we want to have here is bila kita cakap up, we want to have it in between uh, negative 4 and negative 8 if I'm not mistaken on average negative 6 lah this is from the research that I did uh, ratio ni standard 4 1 ni standard and then attack and release ni uh, basically the amount of compressor that is involved a uh, compressing that is involved uh, so nak, nak explain in the specific term of it tak ada jadi I'm just going to play around with the makeup gain and see if I can like adjust dia punya gain ni tapi I'm going to leave it at zero first uh, semua segala tweaking ni Afiq akan buat kemudian sebab akan ambil masa yang sangat lama last but not least is the headphones di mana kita ada mic monitor yang kita bila kita cocok headphone dekat belakang mikrofon ni dekat belakang ni sini ya nampak ok bila kita cocok mikrofon kita kat belakang ni dia akan feedback balik without delay suara kita jadi kita boleh nilai sendiri bunyi tu macam mana and also level control untuk headphones jadi uh, kita boleh set up dekat dalam uh, mixing suite tu untuk output audio pada headphone jack pada beacon mic ni lepas tu dekat headphones ni juga kita ada its very own equalizer so kita boleh adjust bass, mid, treble, subwoofer even so let's say kalau macam kita nak fine tune kita punya headphone ni uh, for us to be able to listen to footsteps ke kan uh, so it's very very interesting to have a separate equalizer for the headphones uh, so this is a very very nice addition uh, banyak benda boleh main lah kat sini also on the right side ada amp power so kita ada empat level which is the in-ear monitor line level normal power dan juga high impedance mode ok let's say lah kan normal power ni standard lah kan sampai sini tak payah explain tapi high impedance mode ni ini adalah uh, mode for headphone headphone yang memerlukan amplification yang lebih contohnya seperti uh, T990 ataupun uh, HD600 kan uh, so all these phones yang memerlukan uh, more power korang boleh enable dekat high impedance mode ni so uh, I think this is uh, a first to any kind of interface macam ni yang daripada microphone I mean uh, whereby dia memang out of the box dia support untuk high, high impedance mode for uh, high end headsets kan so it's a good thing to see that we have this available here I'll play this around later on and see how it goes uh, untuk bahagian microphone semua ni semua dah settle so I think 
uh, Afiq just tambah lagi satu jadi 14 lah I want to see if I am able to pick or whatever uh, Lepas tu dekat atas ni kita ada kita punya equalizer So equalizer ni kita ada yang basic version ataupun kita ada advanced EQ version with guide So untuk basic version ni kita ada tiga je tempat yang kita boleh adjust uh, Bawah, tengah dengan atas And also kita uh, basically dia bagi tahu siap-siap suara kita tu karakteristik dia macam mana so kalau macam korang tengok kat sini suara Afiq ah, macam ni lah so yang kurangnya kat bawah dengan yang dekat bagian atas ni dekat like here kan naturally this is uh, how you're gonna sound like uh, in real life and then this is from the microphone lepas tu by itself think it captures my voice uh, really really well so mungkin ada ada nak kena ubah sikit ke ataupun just probably make it a little bit best ke right um, just play around with it and then kita ada the esser the esser ni basically dia akan um, nampak lah dia macam muffelkan sikit kita punya S dengan T so tak ada lah bunyi yang apa menjolok telinga sangat and also we have a uh, bass bass eh bass enhance dia ada empat style and then the amount yang kita nak apply pada kita punya equalizer and this varies lah dia ada ikutlah style mana and then probably contoh kat sini kan Afiq buat nampak dia dah besarkan yang kat bawah tu dekat belah kiri tu sebenarnya yang bahagian lows and my voice sound uh, more manlier and kalau let's say kalau kita tukar uh, style number 2 uh, it sounds different daripada style number 1 uh, so these are the things that you can play around with the with the beacon mic equalizer and also kat sini kita nampak kita ada exciter <laughs> exciter ni it makes your voice uh, sound more exciting whereby boleh dengar kan dia punya beza dia kan contoh kalau macam sekarang kosong tak ada apa and then it doesn't have that colour bukanlah colour dia, dia tak ada excitement tapi bila kita tambah kan contoh Afiq tambah like here Suddenly it sounds uh, a little bit more exciting whereby you want to pay attention to me and then listen to what I have to say. This is something very simple untuk kita tengok and kita faham. Afiq memang uh, sambil-sambil tengok, sambil belajar and then just, I just figure out okay I think this is what it is. But honestly I don't have any idea exactly what it does because I don't have that uh, equalizer punya uh, kemahiran lah. Jadi Afiq buat... Uh, rasa-rasa je and then bila Afiq dengar oh I like this very very much so I'm I think I'm going to stick to this uh, probably later on Afiq akan fine tune lagi but this is what you get when you purchase the Beacon mic and I think the guys at Beacon really did really really well in terms of simplifying the hard stuff for us dia bukannya cut corners ataupun dia oversimplify benda tu tapi dia membuatkan benda tu available dan kita boleh pilih dan kita boleh pakai in a way it doesn't necessarily make us oh faham tak yes, I've been using GoSLR for the past uh, I think like 2 or 3 years until today kalau suruh Afiq EQ balik sendiri suara Afiq kan Afiq pisang sebab apa satu uh, kita tak nampak this real time punya benda ni so kita tak tahu voice kita tu cukup kuat ke tak dia punya power tu gain dia cukup ke tidak kan number two we don't know how our voice is like karakteristik dia macam mana apa yang kurang kita kat tengah ke kat atas ke kat bawah ke kan and this is the visual representation of our voice yang memudahkan lagi kita punya kerja untuk kita fine tune our voice according to what We want it to sound in our recordings or in our streams and etc. Just something yang I think not at the end with the software whereby kat sini kita boleh record 10 saat. Kita boleh record 10 saat of our voice and we can hear it later on. And yeah, lepas tu sekarang kita dengar boleh eh. Kita boleh record 10 saat of our voice and we can hear it later on. And yeah. Kita boleh record 10 saat of our voice and we can hear it later on. Oh my god, I love how I sound. Oh, okay. Bila kita cakap, we have this... Okay, kenapa Afiq punya reaction macam tu? Sebab bila Afiq cakap, Afiq dengar suara Afiq. Tapi bila suara kita datang daripada dalam tu, kan bila kita cakap, dia actually clear dekat kita punya telinga tau. Tapi bila kita dengar balik playback of our recording, now we know exactly how we sound. And I love it so much it only took me like berapa minit 5 minit 10 minit of setting up and i don't even know how things work i adalah tahu sikit-sikit macam benda ni benda tu tapi this is the first time of me using this software uh, on my own and i am amazed oh
Oh my god, that was fun. Um, uh, I I actually enjoyed um setting up the microphone sebab banyak visual yang kita boleh tengok. Uh, as you can see, I was blown away with the result. Honestly, I really was blown away with the result. I can't wait to use this every single day. See uh, where it can get me in terms of audio quality and audio management. Very, very excited. Coming back to the microphone. Okay, harga dia $280 USD. Uh, specifically, $279 USD. That is without shipping and tax. So, probably will cost you around another $80 USD. So... 40 for shipping, another 40 for tax. So, 280 jadi 360 USD. Darab, 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 4.5 dalam 1,000 setengah. Still murah daripada Shure SM7B. With the Shure SM7B, you will need its own mixer and also preamp depending on what mixer you get. Okay, okay kembali kepada microphone ni. 279 USD. Apa yang kita dapat? Kita dapat microphone, sound processor, kita dapat software dia yang sangat-sangat penting. Ada dekat dalam mixing suite. Basically, a new way of managing and setting up your audio. So if you've been doing audio for some time, you know that it gets very, very boring whereby uh, apa yang kita nampak tu ataupun apa yang kita set tu, kita tak nampak. Jadi dengan software yang diorang provide ni, kita ada that real-time representation of how our voice is. And for me, it's something that is new and it changes the game. It really changes the game. Um, itulah Lepas tu Seperti yang korang nampak This is a very raw conclusion Daripada Afiq tau So I'm quite uh, Caught off guard With The result of my, my Set up just now Lepas tu uh, Rasa macam tengah Banyak benda Yang tengah Tengah berlegar di fikiran ni So Afiq tengah tangkap satu-satu I to like simplify stuff lah Is it worth it for you guys? Depends Korang ni content creator yang macam mana Korang Nak ke Semua benda ni Korang nak ke kuasa untuk Ataupun option ataupun kebolehan untuk set up dan tweak benda ni dari sehari ke sehari And benda ni dia takkan habis Mungkin korang jenis yang lagi simple uh, Macam mana suara korang ditangkap oleh mikrofon tu Macam tu je lah korang pakai uh, Tapi macam Afiq uh, I like to see progress in everything that I do In terms of quality dari segi video, audio uh, Dari segi flow especially kan So pada mikrofon ni dia provide semua benda tu Satu je benda yang Afiq perasan yang mikrofon ni tak ada ialah butang mute pada body mic tu sendiri uh, So <tid> tadi Afiq nak mute mic ni and then nak on mic ni tau I'm not saying that it's bad sebab kalau ikutkan pada mikrofon dynamic yang lain pun tak ada juga Tapi considering that this is a USB mic uh, You would think that it have its own mute button right uh, So tu tak apa itu kita tolak tepi just a recap, USB dynamic microphone, I don't think there's anything out there that can be as good as this microphone. The Beacon mic is in its own category. Um, untuk USB mic yang lain, Afiq rasa nothing comes close. Sebab tak ada yang datang dengan software dia sendiri yang as powerful as this. So I have to say, the amount of money that you pay actually comes a lot daripada software tu tau. The hardware by itself memang dah very very good. Um, software that seals the deal. Um, oh and also the colour putih lepas tu ada RGB lighting lagi. Uh, that's just the cherry on top lah kan. So untuk gamers uh, RGB tu penting sebab benda tu tambah kita punya FPS kan. Tak setuju kan benda tu. Uh, and yeah this is just me being very very excited. So I'm going to be using this microphone for um, for my streams and for my recordings and I'll see if I can give a little bit more insights uh, ataupun extended review once we hit a, a month punya mark ke like two months ke kan whatever lah later on maybe kita akan uh, do another video and have another conclusion whether this beacon mic is as good as the Shure SM7B and in terms of like the things that I do day to day Sama ada benda tu improve Ataupun dia jadi lagi susah ke Macam mana ke uh, I'll see you guys in the next video And this is Chi Signing off Oh by the way Tadi tu record pakai Shure SM7B Okay Bye